fresh day, fresh head. I think I've sorted it. Let me show you. Turns out this wing was pushed all the way down. Now it lines up. So I think as simple as the wing was bent, the inner world top was bent. Now it lines up perfectly. Now I'm just working on this. And I'll get back to you when I've done some. Just tucking it, rolling it in now. Here I'm going to do some spot welds. At the moment I'm just welding this, cutting the lip across, and then it'll all line up right up to where the wind goes. So I'll be back with you when I've started finishing that. And as I do it, I'm cutting along here, make a nice straight edge block to go with the wheel arch. So back with you soon. There we are so far. I've even managed, I even did these little indents because it didn't have it before. Just a little support. It's not exactly the same, but it never had any before. So I made it on my new metal. Just welding it in there. I've just drilled some spot welds here because I'm pretty sure these are spot welded to these sections of the wings anyway. So, just cleaned it up, drilled some spot welds, and I'm just about to weld in the spot welds. And then that's the wing section repaired. Result, set back, rectified. Because now the upper wing fits in where it's meant to go. Runs all the way along there. And then when I've cleaned up this, I'm gonna weld it to the side. Job done. Thank God for that. I'll be back with you when I've uh, done some more. Great news everyone, sorted, now the ring top, the rail fits, I've made that, I've just got to cut this a little bit to line up with this one, when I come to do the actual things, tap welded that on for now, that's all my repair work so far. I am so pleased that that's now normal. Lines up perfect. It turns out that this here was bent. <laughs> as simple as that. Oh, I don't know. I sat up most of the night trying to figure it out. And then it occurred to me that the wing might actually be, the, wing, the inner tub might be bent slightly. I've just got to finish up there. I'll now take that off. Now I know it fits perfect. So I've got to repair that. All in there starting to look better. Just got to grind it all down and re-weld it. Because obviously everything was going wrong for me yesterday. Uh, and I'll show you when I've done that. So that's today's job. Just got to finish grinding that. Put the actual bigger lip on there. I've welded all that. Just got to give it a little grind. I will be seam sealing all of that and then doing this in black. With stone chip or something to protect it. Yeah. I'm just really pleased. Finally. Right, I'm gonna get back to that and I'll give you a final look. Been doing loads of work today. I've done all in there. I've just gotta grind my welds down. Done up there. In there's done. The wing fits where it's supposed to fit, the wing top. side of those done. Just got to grind my rods down a bit more. Got the wing top. It's perfect now. Right? That lines up inside there so that the lip can go on it. 
all inside the arch is done. No holes. <laughs> I've spot welded it here, so I grind them down a bit. I put the inner bracket on there for the booster panel. So all I've got to do is weld that to there, cut that a bit across there, weld it all the way across there, fix this top, and that's done. I'm going to knock these dents out a little bit, but the new lip here, that's got to grind the weld down. All this has been cleaned, I've got to clean it a bit more, ready for primer. So when I finish filming this, I will spray some white prime on it just until tomorrow when I get back out here. Funny to update, yeah? Setback rectified. Seems weird. Not seeing no rust anymore there, apart from these bits which have cleaned up nice. This lines up perfectly. Same as this one. See, they have welded it across, all the way across there, and I've done the same. And the wings, the wings fit perfectly. So that's almost the job ticked off the list. The next job will be me taking the spark plugs out of this and spraying some oil down the the bores. I'm getting close to doing the startup video now because I'm reaching nearly 500 subscribers. So it could be a 500 subscriber bonus that I'll start this engine up. I'm really, really happy with the way this is turning out now. Look at that. Clean metal. As soon as I take this off, I'll be repairing it, cleaning all this up, repairing it, putting a new lip on it, and it will weld straight to the outside of this. It is getting strong now. Before, whoever put the other panel in didn't have no indents there. I've just made some little fingers just to strengthen it up a bit. It doesn't have to look perfect, it's all going to get either in stone chip or is it that um, trunk liner, boot liner? spray either way it's going to be solid finish cleaning all that up when i get to this but other than that it's perfect on this side now look at that new metal as soon as i get rid of all this rust i can prime paint all that put some seam sealer on seam seal it all as soon as i put a few more welds on here I'll seam seal it down here, across there, all the way across there, up there. When I weld these, I'll seam seal across there, and then I'll just spray it with some thick black, like stone chip, something really strong to protect it all. And then I'll be moving on to some other bits of the car. I'm just so happy that I've got this done. Thank God for that. I was worrying about it all night, thinking, couldn't sleep. So that lines back up with that, but obviously I've clamped it. That's a new lift, I've just got to clean all the wilds up in there. I want to give a big thank you, to, I can't remember his name, but he told me what settings to put my wild run, and it has really improved my uh, wilding now. These are really thick, no blow throughs or nothing. Solid. All I've got to do is just grind them down a bit. I can't believe it. Some of it's stupid as a setting on my welder. Although it didn't help with the fact that the numbers are hidden. I pulled the knobs off and the numbers are under the knobs. So I've got to take the knobs off. If you look at the welder. I've got the knobs here, and if you look at it, you've got a lot of the green things, but then close up in there, you've got the little numbers hidden under the knobs. So that would have helped me if I'd known they was there. So yeah, 
it would have helped if I'd done that. So big thank you. I think his name's I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think it's David. Dave. I can't remember. I'm sure he'll uh, might be watching. If you are, thank you. I'm getting some really good wilds now. There's a few little holes I've still got to, like pinholes I've got to get through. I'm just glad that this is done. Fewy. <laughs> so chuffed. Can't wait to uh, sand all this in here and paint it. I know they're not proper like the ones, but at least I've got some this time. Before, the other plate that someone else put in didn't have anything, it was just straight plate, but from what looking on the, uh, the internet, these panels are meant to have some indents up here for strength. Obviously, this bit's still loose because this has got to be welded on side, and there's a bit on the inside that welds to the back of this as well. And then obviously, the metal that comes across here welds to the inside of that. So it'll all come strong eventually. Perfect. She's coming along. I just wanted to update you. That setback yesterday really um got me down, but you lot, you, you viewers really cheered me up with all the nice words. Thank you very much. And I can't believe how well my subscribers are doing. I mean, I bought this car to do up for myself and was advised to do do it on YouTube because people might like it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done YouTube, to be honest. Like, but a lot of people seem to be really enjoying it. So after I've got around over 500 subscribers, you will hear that run. I think that's fair. Now that I've sorted that out, I can clean those and repair them and get onto starting that engine and let's hear a roar and come to life. It's been a very long time since her heartbeat went. As soon as that runs, she'll be alive. What a beautiful car. All the cars nowadays are crap. You just don't get cars that look this nice. Obviously she'll look better when she's got her wings and her headlights and a grill. And I've sorted the bonnet out. Bonnet's in really good condition to be fair. Oh look, it's just started to rain. <laughs> Good timing. Right, I'm going to pack up and get in there and upload this video for you. Um, might be a little while before I bring out the next one. I just wanted to update you. I wasn't actually going to do one today. So I hope you enjoyed. One last look. Less rust. She's getting there. I don't know if I make a lot of mess when I'm working outside. So, please like and subscribe and comment. Um, thank you for watching. Bye bye.